Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can see, I now have a second Nissan Leaf battery pack. Picked it up on eBay. This is a 2014 uh, with, uh, I think it had 17,000 miles on it. It's got a dent in the back, but other than that, it doesn't look too beat up. Um, although the, the eBay pictures did not show this connector being messed up. Um, obviously somebody tried to step on it or they did something to it. Uh, so I'm gonna email uh, LKQ and say, hey, what's up with that? At least let them know that it's being damaged in shipping. Maybe they'll give me some money back. I doubt it. But uh, I wasn't planning on using the connector anyway, so not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I, I hooked it all up. Uh, it's running off of, I've got the uh, old uh, DMOC adapter, um, selector to DMOC adapter hooked up. This is actually a modified one. You can see I don't have the uh, control box hooked up to it, little test box. Um, there's a local guy here that's converting a uh, VW Golf to electric and he wanted to go buy a Nissan Leaf battery pack and he found one over in St. Louis at a salvage yard and he wanted to, to test it before he purchased it and so I rigged this up for him. Um, you just turn it on and it does everything, connects over Wi-Fi and then you can read out the cells so you don't have to you know, have the little test box with it or anything. And uh, he was quite happy with that. He was able to read out all the cells before purchasing the pack. And uh, yeah, so that worked out really good. I, I, I just left it in the box and now I'm using it for this. Um, so that worked out really nice. This one did come with this little connector, which goes there. Uh, my other one did not. And they cut it off. They left enough that I should be able to reuse that. And um, I was thinking about making a little... You know, using a little tiny, uh, I got one of my little uh, motion controllers. They've got canvas on them. And uh, think about using that to make a little tiny thing that could read it out with a, um, say, like one of those uh, 16 character by two line uh, LCD displays. And just have it display uh, all the voltages of all the cells and the high, highest cell, lowest cell, total pack voltage, you know, that kind of stuff. So that uh, if anybody wants one of those, let me know. I can uh, see what I can do on that. Uh, yeah. Or if you need to borrow it, I, I think it would be useful. I, I'm actually not planning on getting another pack. I, um, I think two is going to be enough because between the two sitting here, I've got like, I have like six grand in battery packs here. Um, the original one, the 2013, was um, under three grand, and this one was a little over three grand, uh, including shipping. Um, but you know, all those, uh, the, the uh, 95 Selectory E10 that I repaired and or got running restored, and all those motor controllers and battery chargers and stuff I fixed. That's what Electronics does. And the proceeds from that purchased this. So it, it works out pretty good. Um, it's a little extra work and it delays the projects. But, you know, allows me to not have to get permission from my wife to spend money. <laughs> so that works out really well. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, um, yeah. I, I've got this. This is actually on and running. So we can come over and look at the uh, cells here and uh, you can see that uh, this pack has 12 bars available it's currently at 382.7 uh, ish volts and ignore the DC bus because that's been wrong since the beginning I never actually went back and fixed it got uh, 110 kilowatts available and uh, yeah everything looks good if you look at all the cells they're all around 3.9 volts um, I'm calculating uh, down here, you can see 382.7-ish, uh, uh, which jives with 382.7-ish. And then my lowest cell toggling around here is 3 point, I think I saw 3.8. And my average is 3.9 and my highest is 3.99. So I guess if you can look through here somewhere, there's a, yeah, this guy's 3.988. And, uh, yeah. And it, a few videos ago we figured out that the reason this is toggling and every once in a while one of these comes back wrong is I'm asking it for the cell data 50 times a second and it only apparently updates it like every like half second or so or 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.7 times per second. So it was uh, updating really slow and I'm apparently reading it while it's busy writing and it's not double buffered in their, uh, in their BMS. So uh, that's why that chain flickers every once in a while. But uh, yeah, um, back to this. Uh, this is a good purchase. I, I'm happy with it. It looks like everything on it works. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. 
Um, the next step will be uh, getting... I've got the little circuit boards in to modify the uh, battery management systems and I uh, haven't done anything with that yet. Um, so that will probably be another video. A uh, quick little overview, I'm going to take essentially these four cells out or four modules out because I need to be at 150 volts for my truck and 150 nominal. Uh, it's actually 144 volt nominal, but that, that keeps it within the range that it's expecting for the motors and the controllers and everything. And um, if I take these four out, then I'm going to uh, essentially shrink this down. And then this becomes long enough or short enough to fit inside the front battery box uh, lengthwise. Um, if you look on the side here, there's some little, all these little nuts that run along here. There's that metal bracket that goes to both sides. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a little aluminum plate that'll allow me to bolt the second set exactly the same from this pack. On top of it, we'll keep the uh, mounts on the top one and it'll be bolted together as one unit so we can lift it up with the engine hoist and put it in the front battery box. Um, so it'll be sitting like really close. The bottom of the battery will be really close to the top of these uh, heaters. And then we'll have the heaters on the other ones as well. Uh, I'm assuming that this one has heaters in it. Uh, this part number here, the 295B03NF0B, is identical to the other one. So I'm pretty sure, I mean, the, the, all the numbers there match. It's 24 kilowatt. The only thing that's different is the serial number. So I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be identical. And if that's the case, then it should have the heaters and everything in it. So we'll reuse all that. Not sure how I'm going to drive the heaters since they're designed for 360 volts and I'm only running 150 volts. It might be the case where I only run the heaters if I'm plugged into 240 AC or I could build a little uh, boost converter to take the 150 volts and boost convert up to 360. Haven't decided yet. Um, don't really do a lot of cold weather driving because the heater in the truck is very anemic once it gets below freezing, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, for the rear battery box, so all of this will fit, so I'll have uh, 40 modules, um, uh, 40 on the bottom, for, or 20 on the bottom, 20 on the top, um, for 154, 150 volts at um, what, uh, these are considered 60 amp hours, 65 amp hours, something like that, so say 120 amp hours, just in the front battery box. In the rear battery box, this will actually fit almost as is. The, I've got a little bit more length, but not enough width. Um, so what I'm going to do is the contactors, everything in the middle is going to disappear. And these guys will just get shrunk together closer. Probably have like a three inch gap between there. And um, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, other than that, they'll fit as is. And I'll probably just leave them how they are because they, they're nice little units already. Um, can reuse all the safety connectors, all the wiring, everything, BMS wiring, everything's going to be the same. So we're going to try to keep it as stock uh, as possible. Um, so yeah, the, the, the front battery box will have its own BMS that runs the entire front battery box. The rear battery box will have its own BMS as well. Um, yeah, uh, in the rear battery box, I think these right now are stacked four high. So this is two modules high and four modules high. Uh, I can stack them uh, up to, I'm trying to think what I can do, I think I can stack them up, I only need to stack them up 5 high because uh, the 5 times 8 is the 40 modules, so that should all fit in my uh, rear battery box. I can actually stack them, uh, if I wanted to I can do 7 high before I hit the top of the battery box, um, but I, uh, you know, eight stacks of five is the 40 modules I need, and then I'll probably break it up into maybe, I haven't decided yet, probably one side will be a pack and the other side will be a pack. And, uh, yeah, that should work. Uh, anyways, this, this video has been going for, uh, for pretty long, but um, it should be fun. I think uh, once I can get back to working on the truck, it'll be really nice. We'll get everything uh, up and running, and... Yeah, I think it should be fun. But, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.